is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for <clears throat> items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Okay, so this is true. Obviously, I learned this in school. I, I, I don't know who wouldn't know this, but if you don't, there you go. You, you, you learn something. But my thing is, this person here is just as evil as this person here. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure what I'm going to say, um, a lot of people could understand, okay? You can be in good faith conversation and use information in a, a, a responsible way. Okay, like like Spider-Man's uh, uncle said, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. With great information and knowledge and wisdom comes great responsibility. I, I could be your uncle telling you that, okay? Um, disregard if you're any other color uh, but black, but I could be your uncle in spirit, okay? You can have information and depending on what you want to use that information for you can use it for evil and and i and i know it's weird that i'm saying this and having clandis not not candace i'm sorry to miss enunciate her name miss clandice owens right next to me okay um it's a thing where you use information for your own benefit okay it's called a uh um what is what is it called it's like a um it rhymes i know it sounds like opportunist <sighs> opportunist Oppor okay I'll, I'll figure the, the the word out later okay um but if you use information in a negative way you can use it in a way that benefits you and this person whoo, using her color using her being black a black woman with information and trying to be a op damn it what's the word opportunist damn it being a grifter maybe um is a bad thing okay let's go ahead and, and and i know this is an old video so before you start hit me up in the comments oh this is all i get it but it just popped up in my my youtube feed okay and i thought it was very interesting so we gonna have to cover this okay so i don't care if it's a year or 20 years old it came out of her lips so we're gonna discuss it because i know a lot of her audience a lot of people are going to look at this or have looked at this and frame their perspective and their opinions around this bull right here okay so we're going to watch this together okay if i'm going to suffer you're going to suffer okay if you if you don't like this kind of you know this this kind of information she's going to be putting out we, we have to suffer together okay it's not fair that i just do it we share this burden together okay so let's go ahead and watch this video and we're gonna have that conversation and now for a brief history of slavery Where's here's the first thing you need to know slavery was not invented by white people it did not start in six Oh shit. <laughs> All right. Whoa, she 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 came out strong with that, okay? Now Let's okay, let, let's, let's keep when going. the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed before then. Of course. It did not okay. start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia, and the... Uh, I mean, did, what, what, why did she have to add that in? Like, was it, was it necessary? I mean, I know she's trying to dehumanize uh, uh, indigenous, uh, indigenous people. You know, in that time, like, you know, like these people just, you know, cannibal, uh, cannibal, cannibal lies each other. So I, I, I mean, I get what she's trying to do, but like, was that really necessary? But I mean, I digress. Sure. You know, the whatever. Middle East, the word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Millions of them, all white, by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the ninth century and later by the Ottoman Turks. 
<laughs> Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. Okay. It was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosophers. Okay. Now this 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 is the 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 prime thing right here. This this is what I need you to understand. Just because something was normalized during any period doesn't make it okay. Like like and, and this is what I'm saying like you're you you have good information. You have true information. I mean, she she's not really explaining that, you know, uh the the Europeans who came to America, they also escaped slavery. I mean, so it's kind of weird how they want to use something that they escaped, but whatever. Um just because something was normalized doesn't mean that the continuance of it is okay. I mean, we could use that in all kind of like I'm pretty sure uh 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 marriage with um underage women or 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 girls. They're they're not women, they're girls was a common thing back in the day. We put a stop to that, right? I mean, Matt Walsh kind of wants to uh, you know, make that a thing, but we will fight against the evils uh, who who think that way, right? So, so just because once again, I, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you why she's doing this, you know, at the end. But just just pay attention on on what she how she's trying to phrase everything. Day, slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians five thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial. Slaves were a major item of commerce, as much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. Okay. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. In 1830... <sighs> well, I would assume because the world consists of more white people, so, I mean, white people didn't enslave a lot of people i mean you know it wasn't just like muslims enslaved more so of of the world or black people enslaved more like i mean it's, i mean that's mathematically true like of course you know what i'm saying but once again how how you phrase it it it, it makes a difference okay just just hold on here b3 Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a slavery abolition act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After Okay, so I wish she was being a little bit more honest because <laughs> all these gaps, you know, between years, other countries have been abolishing slavery and and even uh, um what what she say they were not the first country to abolish. i mean it's been kind of documented other uh nations which you know uh abolished slavery way before so i mean like once again this is true but she's not phrasing it in an honest way america was like the second or the third uh to last to end slavery it, it, it's, it's not like america led it first like you know we're going to do something like no it was like a, a few countries i mean slavery is still happening but during this time america for for the amount of slaves that were owned america was like second to last to end slavery so let's let's not pretend like you know, all of a sudden, you know, Amer America had a heart of gold and wanted to do something uh, uh, to show the world that they're uh, that they're changing. No, no. How how you phrasing this is is being dishonest here. But of course, this is Clandis Owens world to pass a slavery abolition act. 
they were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After centuries of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. <laughs> that includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, <clears throat> who died during the Civil War. Okay, once again, that is true. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Like, you can be true but dishonest at the same time. Um, most of these individuals who fought in the Civil War did not fight for slavery. Now, of course, the fight e uh, evolved into uh, uh, freeing uh, uh, captive slaves, but a lot of people who uh, were enlisted or who joined the war, uh, war uh, copped out of it. They said, no, 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 I didn't sign up for this. No, whoa, 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 I did my duties, I'm out. I mean, you got to look this up. It's, it's, it's not like ancient relic readings that I stumbled upon, like, you know, uh, Indiana Jones. Like, I didn't. This is information you can find. So once again, she's not wrong. She's just being disingenuous in the way that she's presenting her argument. But of course. Now, am I saying that this makes <clears throat> white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth. And the truth is that oh, really? human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today we are never <clears throat> told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America <clears throat> or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. And like... <laughs> okay, first off, first off, first off, if I heard any brother saying slavery is a white phenomenon, I'm going to laugh. It'd be like, first off, why? I've never heard, and I know a lot of black folks, okay? I, I grew up with black. I, I've never heard anyone anyone and i'm being as honest as i can be i've never heard anyone saying slavery is a white fun white people started slave i've never had a conversation with anyone who believed that now it's millions of crazy folks in this world so i i'm pretty sure somebody who hasn't read a book in their life will say something stupid like this so uh, once again, I guess that's true. Like someone out there is saying slavery is a white phenomenon, but I think we can collectively agree that whoever believes that is an idiot. So, I mean, but okay, sure. All, right, All gotcha. persistent lies. This lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I, I mean, some some uh, countries, uh, some black folks did. I mean, that's that's not a lie, you know, but I, mean, I, I see wish she, where, any where of she's this going were true, this. but it's not. It's a fantasy. <laughs> the truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for <clears throat> items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Okay, so this is true. Obviously, I learned this in school. I, I, I don't know who wouldn't know this, but if you don't, there you go, you, you, you learn something. But my thing is, this person here is just as evil as this person here. Let's let's imagine this is a uh, a uh, 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 sex uh, trade right here. Okay, everybody hates child uh, sl uh, sex slavery. Okay, this person selling a child is just as bad as the person buying a child. You're not gonna defend the person buying a child. Say no, we gotta 
look at the person selling because that's the real no guess what in my book it, it, at least both of these individuals can go to hell and back take a couple of laps in hell because you selling him is evil you buying this person is just as evil if you weren't buying people he wouldn't have a job you see how that works if he wasn't selling people he wouldn't have anybody to buy so i i i once again at the end of this i'm going to tell you why she's doing this and it'll all make sense okay trust me it'll all make sense whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives they waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies the stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery <laughs> is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. I mean, it's, it's kind of slavery throughout the world. I mean, it's kind of weird that she just wants to, you know, zoom in and only, I mean, but like, I can't expect anything more from Clandis Owens, but I mean, whatever, sure. Okay, got you. Other sources say there are many more. For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced labor. These are the conditions that currently exist within the same. And in America, they, uh, America leads in uh, 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 child sex uh, trade so i mean maybe that's for another video she wants to put out I, I don't know like maybe she already put it out and i just didn't see it but i mean it's kind of weird you know to to try to like only you know africa but i get it sure sub-saharan right. region where the transatlantic slave trade originated african bodies are being sold today like they were sold then and no they are not being purchased by any country of white men in fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. But we hear almost nothing <clears throat> about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. <laughs> Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds yeah. racial grievance groups. That's true. And that's why I will never uh, believe or even be swindled by Democrats who who pretend they care about black folks and they want to, you know, reparations like we know damn well. Democrats ain't even thinking about giving reparations. I know who my enemies are. Democrats don't care about black folks. Republicans damn sure don't uh, care about black folks they are they say like a badge on their chest at least democrats try to pretend you know i i appreciate you trying to pretend but guess what you're not swindling nobody over here okay so this is true uh democrats use black uh black pain and black history to benefit just like republicans use black history and black pain and black bodies to to uh, 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 I guess cater to white supremacist uh, ideology. So, I mean, black folks is being used universally. <laughs> Everybody, even black folks like uh, Clandis Owens using her black skin to make some of this green right here. I mean, there you go. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, Ooh, if we partner. embraced the patriotic spirit Patriot, okay. that holds all men are created equal, okay. the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. So would you be out of business, Candace Owens? Because guess what? Ooh, I hate to break it to you. I love my country because my ancestors built this country. My ancestor superheroes are the ones who put this this constitution that we want to live and die by they made america live up to those standards so you get no victimhood from me 
if anything, I would love to consider myself a true patriotic uh, 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 champion of America. Because I understood, I understand what it took for this country to be where it's at today. And guess what? We're going to continue to fight. So 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, it's going to be even better. America's going to be the America that we know it can be because of black folks. Okay. Um, and who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author uh, of Blackout for Prager University. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Switch this up here. So it is really simple on why Clandis Owens is putting out propaganda like this here. Because any real conversation regarding slavery in America, she is going to be tough, is going to be uncomfortable, is going to make some people uh, flake, is going to scare off a lot of people. But to have a genuine, real conversation about slavery in America is going to take a little balls. Okay, you're going, you're going to have to have a spine to have that real conversation. Her purpose with this video is to soften the conversation, is to water down the conversation. Have you ever had soda and someone, you know, you, you put a lot of ice in your soda? That's why <clears throat> when I go to fast food restaurants, I ask for no ice because when your soda is sitting there for a, a, a nice bit, <clears throat> the the ice starts to melt and it's water obviously um and it starts to water down your soda and who loves watered down soda it's kind of gross it's like i want the carbonation you know what i'm saying i want the syrup i want that but when you water down soda it's not potent so when you have propaganda like this you water down the real conversation and when you water down the real conversation, you water down solutions. You water down what needs to be done to rectify the situation. I mean, that's why reparations is never going to be a thing because a lot of people think slavery was just like, you know, a thing that happened. You know, was, yeah, a few thousand people were enslaved and it lasted for a few years. It wasn't really a big deal. I mean, other countries did it. I mean, wow, well, wow. It's like, okay, <clears throat> Clandis, listen. Um, <clears throat> we live in America. I'm an American. So we gonna talk about America. I have no business talking about any other country in, in their history if my country can't even rectify its own history. I I I I do I I care, you know, don't get me wrong. I care about people being enslaved and you know, but I can't even get my own country to admit that slavery was egregious enough to pay reparations. So who who do I look like talking about another country? In their slavery issues, in their slavery uh, history, they're gonna look at me like crazy. So let's try to fix our situation first before we start pointing fingers at other countries. Oh, you know that country. And trust me, once we handle this over here, I'm going to Africa, and we're gonna have that tough conversation too because they need to know. <laughs> the the destruction that they put their own people through oh trust me once <laughs> we gonna get to that and trust me they gonna get it even harder i hey these white folks who enslaved us and and, and used us for for the i mean we we don't want to get into the the nasty disgusting history of american slavery but trust me 
Africa going to get theirs. Ooh, it's, it, I mean, you know, not Africa as a whole, but <laughs> trust me. But we can't continue to let propaganda like this continue to, to control the narrative. Because then you're going to have, like I said, a lot of disingenuous conversations and then you're going to never come to a conclusion. We're going to continue to have this comfort conversation forever until we come to a place where we can be honest and then move forward. It's like, and, 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 and I'm going to finish with this example here. It's like a man going home to his wife, <clears throat> knowing that she caught him cheating. She found some numbers in her in his pocket or something or found, you know, makeup stains on the shirt, you know, the, the same cliches. And he knows this and he's coming home to meet an angry wife. So he wants to start the conversation by, um, well, you know, um, I had a few much to drink and, and, and you know how, you know, I, I'm addicted to to Mike Hart lemonades and I had one too many. So, you know, it wasn't really my fault because my friend, he, he kept pressuring me to, to, to drink. Right. And, 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 you know, he cheats on his wife all the time. Like you should see the amount of women that he just sleeps with on a daily basis. And, 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 and your friend, your friend is single right now. And being single is, is hard and lonely because her man, cheated right and, and, and so so i mean I, I i know what i did was wrong you know but i didn't do it like they did <laughs> so so you you shouldn't be mad at me right like we we can kind of just move on let's let's just move on and and not really deal with my wrongs because there's a lot of other people out there who's doing way worse than me right i mean you know I'm not cheating now. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Clandis, I'm sorry, but you failed. Okay. But once again, if you think I'm wrong, if you think, I don't know, black folks didn't build this country, um, white folks, uh, just, you know, uh, America ended slavery before anyone. I don't know, whatever stupid lie that you believe and you want to put in my comments, let me know. And like always, let's have that conversation. <laughs>